Thank you for coming. Sorry, I had to be in traffic. Erica. Yeah, well, you're late. You're unprofessional, and it's <laughs> I was, I was five minutes amateurs. earlier than you. Still, it's, it's bush, bush league. I blew it. Keith has, has to go. East Coast time. Yeah, we gotta go. <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> It'd be awesome if Thanks that was for coming, the episode. <laughs> Can you just cut it right there? Hey, so who who threw the mystery water on you? Harold. Harold did. He was like hiding in the corner of the room when I was in there yelling at everybody. And Todd Jordan's right in front of me with like the biggest, him. stupidest smile on, like, chill, chill. And I look out of the corner of my eye, I see Harold behind the bed, and it's just his little black <laughs> face sticking out, like, like nothing happened. That's so were you it. just sleeping in your room and someone Yeah, but it water? was like one of those tours where it's like 40 dudes in the tour and like two fucking, um, I can curse on this thing, right? Yeah. yeah. Two, uh, two hotel rooms. So it's like you got a little piece of floor. And if it's wet, then you have no more piece of floor. <laughs> and How? it was like he threw it from like across the room, so it just kind of got my legs. It didn't uh, even really get on me. Wait, did you get pissed? A little bit. A little bit. It's like half his chump on this part. I know. He has yeah. a temper. Yeah, but now I'm a lover, not a fighter anymore. <laughs> When did that happen? You know, the lover, not a fighter thing? I don't know. I think when I hit like 38, I was like, I'm exhausted. It's, it's, like, it's like your yeah. golf game. Yeah, my golf game is, I don't even play golf anymore. It's I play, I play with golf. I played golf with Retta once, and he didn't hit the ball well, and he just focused his club. Those things are so like... They break really easy. So easy! <laughs> yeah, they just, well, they so just it fall. It seems like fun then. Yeah, but even if you go like, damn, it's broken. <laughs> you're just so strong. No, Gosh, it's, not so it's not even. It's not even. It's just like, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not a golf guy anymore. I retired my golf game. I had a big conversation with Tiger. Yeah. And he was like, maybe you should just retire it. I'm like, you know what, Tiger? <laughs> yeah, this, this happened. When this, where were you at? <laughs> I'm going to give you, I'm going to let you take the reins on this. Can I get a glass of water? No? I'll take yes. water. How long did that chomp part take to film? Mine? Yeah. I don't know, 20 minutes. <laughs> Is it like, I did like three like tricks. It's like a year. I did well, like three tricks going with this. and then like got into two fights <laughs> and that was it. Is it the least amount of tricks in a full part <laughs> in the history of skateboarding, do you think? Man. You gotta get some serious well, skate nerds in here. For the, for the uh, simple fact that I was never a professional skateboarder, Yeah. does that even count? Yeah. No, what are you talking about? I ollied down some steps. Wall ride. Did a wall ride. I did a 180, 50, 50, like fakie 50, 50, half cab. And, and then, and then Huff ollied over the boom and I tried yeah. to go under it and it hit me oh, in the yeah. head. Shared part. Yeah, I was in there. Guest appearance. <sighs> did they get sued by Pac-Man? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah, Pac-Man's pissed. Keith's been just fielding a lot of cease and desists. Yeah. So that's he's why like, he brought that up. Is suing you? They're probably pissed. They're, They're pissed. super angry. You have to see like so many funny like takes on those socks, the weed socks, but like I saw one that had just like bits of weed all over yeah. like an actual sock. You they do the that. exact knockoff now. They just don't even care. People do yours. No oh, respect. Of course. Are you guys like sock rivals? I mean, not oh, really. No. Oh, because he's got the whole He's got Old, socks like, unlocked. He's got apparel socks line unlocked. and shoe line. Yeah. <laughs> My one friend was telling me it's like there'll be like a a rack. There'll be like two racks for socks, and then like a rack and a half will be Huff weed socks, <laughs> and then the other half of the rack will be like one row of everybody else's socks, and then one row of Stan socks. Well, good work, buddy. Well, Stan, I see Stan's everywhere, man. Hey, good. Work. I got Stan socks on right now. To be honest. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Was that an accident? <laughs> okay, I no, guess he it's knows. I don't need any. Now. <laughs> well, he knows I don't wear, I don't smoke weed, so I it's don't need any weed. weed. It's a Japanese maple leaf. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, all right. Now it's is, all Are we story. clearing the air? It's a Japanese is maple leaf. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna You can take it any which way you want, man. Be creative with your mind. All right, I yeah. took it as weed, so <laughs> that's why I don't wear it. <laughs> One day I roll up to Huff's warehouse and everybody who gets high was there. Everybody, every skater oh, that gets high, I was like, what? I guess the Everyone. lead socks just came in. Oh, Tori Pugwell. You got new I didn't say names. Was, I didn't say no, names. Sorry. He doesn't get high. I don't know. Every <laughs> single skater that gets high, I'd love to see. You should have shot a photo of it. Cheers. 
So who comes to you with the the computer printout of the of that print and says like, hey, do you want to do, like? How did that even start? Because it's obviously become a phenomenon, and then like almost a, to the point where it's a joke like that. Um, basically, we we started it probably six years ago or seven years ago. We just did it for the <coughs> store when we had retail stores. Um, our designer Hani El Khatib is a musician now. Uh-huh. He concepted the idea, and I approved it, and we were just we just made socks. Wow. We just basically did the smallest run possible and probably sat on those socks for like a year. No one bought them at first? They were selling lightly, but not wow. crazy. And we just and then we just kept it in the line. Every every season we just would do a new color. Maybe like we would do three at a time and it'd probably last us six months to twelve months. And we do like You guys have baby weed socks like now. Now we have baby weed socks. Yes. We supply the weed. <laughs> yes. They, they're called seeds. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, and they oh. come, And it's two in a dime bag. Yeah, oh, God. So we're not advertising weed at all. Yeah. No, not at all. No. Do you smoke? What is it? Japanese? What is it? Maple leaves. Japanese. Maple leaves. Do you smoke ma- Japanese maple leaves? No, he doesn't. He owns a business. He has a I wife know, and a kid. It's just funny. I do. I do once in a while. Japanese maple leaves. Yeah, you just Japanese maple leaves. I said no. I went no. Oh, I, I mean, set sorry. the whole thing up for you to be no, and then you just were like, yeah, I don't know. Because if I say no, just talk to me. I'm if I say no, I'm everyone a thinks I'm a poser. Yeah. But I'll the thing be is, a lawyer. Thing what happens to me is like, <laughs> I'll be at like a party. A I'll be at a party, and everyone is like, Everyone's you don't true. fucking smoke weed. So they're like, here you go, you gotta smoke weed. So I'm like that, and then I'm getting high all night. <laughs> Fucking hammered, and yeah. Just yeah, but he's just more like Bill point. Clinton. Yeah. He doesn't inhale. <laughs> he pretends. He has to live up he's to like, the socks. Ugh. It's kind of like being a tattoo artist, and you don't have any tattoos, right. huh? But I do once in a while. I, dr- I drink more beer than I smoke weed. Put it that way. Yeah, I mean, you should guys do the beer socks. We do. There we they go. did. <laughs> oh shit! Sorry, I didn't look at the line. It was like a bud. It wasn't that. it like a Budweiser logo that said Huff? Yeah, Not, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we just that. do. They look, they look like cans, and they're like. They're beer socks. Japanese cans. Ja- yes, yeah, it's yeah, sake. Sapporo. <laughs> Sapporo. <laughs> um, Retta, do you get to eat a lot of good food now? Yes. I, t- I don't tell the chefs that I'm there at their restaurants anymore <laughs> because they fucking send me out so much shit. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Can I go out to dinner with you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh, I can't tell people I'm going to the restaurant. They'll just send me too much free Sometimes food. Sometimes they'll no, bring you, you the get whole like dessert menu. Six, yeah, you get six desserts and you're already full as fuck and then you feel like a dick not eating it and you're yeah. like trying to stuff it down your gullet. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, fuck. Like, <laughs> you're just getting fatter and fatter. By the you're second. You're eating with your hands at the end. <laughs> like I bring a change of pants with me like I'm usually 34 but when I walk 36. out I'm gonna be at 36 because that's how much shit they give me I was at this one joint and I was like I was right in front of the kitchen and I leaned back and I was like fuck dude because I was already like stuffed and the chef saw me and he's like hey don't start rubbing your stomach yet because it ain't over oh, no. <laughs> and they just kept sending fucking shit out gosh have you gotten uh, what's your favorite thing you've gotten to eat Besides pussy, um, oh god, is that gonna get that edited be, out? Is do they, 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 ser- do they serve that? Oh. Wait, they serve that? Yeah, yeah. Damn, yeah, that's I, tight. yeah, my reaction is the best priceless. thing I've ever heard on this show. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Come on, so you're on a cooking show a cooking called show Knife Fight. Called Knife Fight on the Esquire Network. Correct. And how did this come about? My friend Alon Hall, he won Top Chef a couple of seasons mm-hmm. ago, so he got approached by this dude like, oh, let's do something. He's like, I'll film it. I'll do everything on it. And you just, you know. And you just come and do it. And then he was like, all right. He's like, but I want my friend Reddit to host it. And they were like, he was like, all right, cool. So I went and hosted the Sizzle. And then they, up, Rich uh, worked with Flower Films, which is Drew Barrymore's production mm-hmm. company. And he brought it over to them. And he mm-hmm. so, and that's how that all came about. I think out. it's cool. There's like no prize, really. Mm-mm. Right? There's no money. You don't, it's just like You win glory. nothing. You win a $3 knife that says, I won, that's written on there with like an orange Sharpie. It says, I won. <laughs> Basically, you're there for just like bragging rights. Yeah, I it's kind of like coming on this show, bragging rights. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Everyone's no. bragging. Huff needs gas money, yep. and I'm not signing any releases until I get a check. Yep. Right? Oh, it's gonna be a while. Huff's my lawyer. <laughs> That's all right. I'm gonna walk out with a lot of Tony Hawk products. Take it. Hey, he's not here, so you're I'm welcome gonna, to. I'm gonna take one of those, the old Tony Hawk Powell Parole to board that signed. That's good. In yeah. the box. No I'm one's gonna, gonna notice that, that being already missing. Framed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's already in there. No, you should take all of his Nickelodeon. Uh, I don't want awards. that. I just want the one board. And when it was like, what happened to that board? You could say Reda got it. Yeah. You don't want his Devo hat. Nope, and I'll just leave it in the back of Huff's truck. <laughs> it's rusting. 
I think, yeah, we had some guests here one time that like legitimately like took all these Tony Hawk signboards without telling anyone or saying anything. That was like, Bob and Boosh, yeah, they oh, yeah. took all the signs. No way. They took signboards that probably were like Make-A-Wish kids or something. Yeah. Well, I mean, They're like, Boosh is kind of a Make-A-Wish kid, isn't he? <laughs> He's special. He deserves it. If he can walk out of here with him, then he deserves it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? I saw Boosh yesterday. Nice. How's he doing? Oh, was it was he... just his birthday. Oh, that's I right. I missed it. Happy birthday, Happy Bush. birthday, Boosh. Yeah, come back. Oh, <laughs> you are a terrible friend. What, what do you want? Look, you just I don't touch Instagram enough. Even, your phone's not even off. It was. It is. We've got a professional. Look at this. That's off. Your phone's not off. I don't know what to tell you. Mophie didn't turn it off. Listen, your phone's not it off. It must be an emergency. You're late. <laughs> terrible. Keith's got a business to run. Do you, you could. I don't have Replace shit to do, to be totally honest. I ain't got a thing to do today. <laughs> is, is this your 20th year? Over? This is my 20th year. Congratulations. Thank you. Wish we had a cake or something. I know, right? Yeah. Well, maybe if you weren't late, you could have fucking <laughs> already You could have baked a cake. Yeah, you're totally right. You could have just stopped at Starbucks and got them a muffin or something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I did actually. I ate it though. I was hungry in traffic. Sorry. Blew it. Um, congratulations. Thank you. So what, what do you think's changed the most from the beginning of Real in your times with them to now? I mean, I feel like, I feel like it's the same company. They're in the same path that they've done. It's just, you know, new riders, new type of advertising. Mm -hmm. Jim's got pink hair <laughs> or something. Yeah. Is there anyone you're uh, super psyched on that's on Real right now that gets you hyped? I mean, Bushnitz always. I mean, the whole team is rad. Ramadetta, um, who rides for Real? Ishad uh, Davis, no. Drake, Drake Jones, no, Dolly Bast, Sean Mandoli, <laughs> Kelly Bird. No, pretty much the team is the team is good. It's, it's very uh, Damian it's Bravo. very well rounded. Damian um, Bravo, Ben Bravo. Liver's Edge, Ben Liver's Edge, Max Schaff, <laughs> Matt Field, Matt Field, yeah, um, Kelly Bird. I said Cairo, Cairo, Cairo Foster. Foster. Do you do you try and make sure that there's some guys on the East Coast that get brought in? I have no input of what happens over there. <laughs> None. None at all. That's because he so doesn't. That's because he like, doesn't talk. Listen. <laughs> they I were used, like, you haven't I talked used, in 20 years. You're gonna start talking now? I used to have input and help out, but now it's like, I'm just a part of it. Yeah. Um, I try to help out with graphics once in a while, but I have not done a real graphic in a long time. Really? Yeah. Well, we should put some marijuana leaves on your promo. They did that, man. It just sells too much. So <laughs> It just sells way too much. I, hate don't don't do that. I don't want any royalties. Don't do that. <laughs> Who else? Oh, Justin Brock. Justin Brock. There's a whole group. Robbie, yeah. Robbie Davis, Brockle. Brockle. Well, all these, a lot of the guys have uh, parts in the new Nike Alex video Midler. coming out. Yeah. Weeks. Oh, yeah, Midler. Shitstain, Midler. <laughs> Shit Shit Stain. Is that his middle name? That's the nickname I gave him mm. that has not stuck yet. So. It's going to stick now. Well, there we go. No, it, Shit Stain. No, is there a more Alex offensive Midler. Midler. I'll call him Shit Stain on a trip. <laughs> is there a more offensive nickname than Shit Stain? Well, he's like 13, and no, you, know, no. you know he has Shit Stain in his pants. So. Definitely does. Shit Stain. <laughs> <laughs> See, when Huff starts talking, it's starts worthwhile. Talking. I was gambling with him and he was actually winning. We were in a hotel room and he like he took like 180 bucks off me and I was like, fuck this shit. I was like, I have, I have like 500 bucks in my pocket. I was like, so I can always, the bigger bank wins, right? So I just kept on playing them and playing them and playing them and I took like 100 bucks from him. Good. <laughs> like that's what you get, shit stain, right? <laughs> That's what you get for messing with the, the pro. <laughs> From a 13 year old. From a 13 year old. Because he took money off me. I was like, fuck that. What were you guys like, playing? Dice? Dice, yeah. You know, <laughs> eventually, if you just keep playing, it's either going to go one way or the other. So it's just like, it'll eventually turn. I had bad luck. I lost and lost and lost and lost and lost. And then I just started winning. Hop was down to his last 25 <laughs> bucks. And just like, man, I 100 bucks out of him. You never give up. You go to the ATM if you have to. Did he get you sad? never give up. No, he was like, oh, I want to play more, but he had no money, so then he's, you know, trying to find money. Does he have, like, an ATM card? Of course, the, like, Huff, <laughs> weed socks, and like, yeah, you want to play more? Come on, I'll play you more. Weed socks. He's a good kid. Huff's like, look, I'll lend you 100 bucks, but then you owe me 120, okay? <laughs> and the VIG is going to start working on that by midnight, okay? So that means if you don't have my 120 bucks by midnight, you're going to have to owe me 135 bucks, so you might not be able to skate for a couple of weeks. <laughs> This is probably the worst place you could skate flat ground. The bottom of a vert ramp or a bowl? <laughs>